What's up guys, it's Drake here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Weathers and Tornadoes 1.1 for Minecraft 1.2.5 in 2020. Now as most of you know, Minecraft Mike did a video and of course everybody on the planet has done a video how to, how to install Tornado Mod. Most of the links are outdated and Minecraft works a different way now. It no longer runs off of a jar file anymore. So I'm going to show you guys how to install this video, or install this video, dang. Um, install this mod for Minecraft 1.2.5. Now there are four essential things you're going to need that I don't got, which is pretty much installed in the jar already. I just deleted the files. Audio mod and mod loader. Now it, it's very rare to find audio, audio mod and mod loader for these versions, but if you still have them, props to you. If you don't, then I'm not too sure what to do i'd look it up and see if you can try to find it now as for weather and tornadoes i will like i said i've linked it in the um tornado survival first episode so if you look there it's right there it's the google drive link and uh next thing you want to do is you want to go to your dot minecraft folder now one thing you want to do is you want to go to your versions versions blah. 1.2.5. Now you're not going to have all this here. I was just playing with crap. But you know. What you want to do is you want to right click this. Do not get WinZip. It sucks ass. It's not worth using. So what you do is you go to 7-Zip and you go to open with archive. Now you need to do it this way. Otherwise it's not going to work. So there will be a folder in here called meta inf. It will be spelled like, it'll be spelled like this. I'll show you. You need to disable that. Oh, okay, cool. So what you want to do is you want to drag the audio mod and mod loader class files in here. Give you a minute to do that. And then after that, you're done. So one thing I recommend is leaving this open because I found out if you close it, and I've done this through testing, when you close it, it resets the jar. So if you're going to do this, I highly recommend you just leave this open in the background and then when you're done playing with it close it and then when you want to replay it again you got to click right here i'll be welcome 1.2.5 jar okay sounds simple what else now go to dot minecraft and it's basically exactly the same as you saw for all the other minecraft mod installation stuff so you go to mods and then you drop weathers and tornadoes and rains minimap. Now I have rains minimap. It's pretty optional for you guys, but just drag that in there, and you should be all set to go. Now I highly recommend launching Minecraft first with the launcher that I linked in the description. You're gonna have to log into that launcher, and I thought someone was just cutting grass outside, but no. you just gotta log in with this launcher and then it should work so here i will log back in with you guys as soon as i get it going all right guys i'm back and if you did everything correctly you should end up with this right here forge mod loader and um audio mod as well and you can see right here mc mod weather weather and tornadoes now there are the saving chunks issue is still a problem so just keep that in mind so let's just go into a world, let's just put it, I don't know, let's just do this. Just so you guys can see, just so if you, just to make sure though, if it works, you will see Rain's minimap, which that's optional if you want it, but you should see leaves coming off the trees if it did work, such as you can see like there are some leaves on the ground. And if you have too many items, you should see... And also, I'll go over how to do the debug menu in a little bit here, too. So if you see these items right here in your spawn menu, say if you don't have TIM, just scroll all the way down here. You should see this, this, and this, and this. Speaking of which, I'll just show what these do anyway, since, you know, I'm going to be doing a mod review over this, too, so stay in tune for that. I'll go more into depth about this mod. But you just try out the items, make sure they work. If they work like this, and they don't crash your game upon immediately doing it, then you have installed Tornado Mod correctly, my friend. Now, I'm just going to be 
kind of weary with you guys here that um like i said the saving chunks thing is still a crash or still like an issue with this so props to you if you don't have to deal with the issue but if you're someone like me that has this problem then yeah just be just be aware of it because you know this is an old version of tornado mod after all so remember it is going to be a bit unstable and it's probably going to cause some problems for 1.2.5 mainly because 1.2.5 is a more unstable version now here you want to have fun with the drill item that's epic <laughs> so yeah there's actually like 3d animations and stuff too it's really really cool so anyway now the moment of truth i'm gonna turn my i'm gonna turn my sound down for this so if you did everything and it works if you spawn in the tornado, oh, the drill item. <laughs> it picked up some of the drill item stuff. For the blocks from the drill item. Now, if you see this and it works fine, and you hear the sounds, and it's functioning the way it should, then you, my friend, have installed Trail Mod correctly and it's up and running to go. So bear in mind, this is just the items. These are just the quick starter items in the mod. You can't have two tornadoes in this mod. You can make them spawn naturally with the storm, but one of them will stay still for some reason. I don't know, it's just a movement glitch in 1.2.5. But if you see this and you hear it, and it works just fine, no problems at all. And if you hear the wind sound effect, you did everything correctly. Now I'll show you guys how to get to the debug menu. So go to bit, go to your config folder. Go to mod weather, mod underscore weather. Now this text right here, debug boolean false, you want to leave it to that. Unless you want to just be super ballsy and set it to true. Go ahead. These are basically just settings that are put, I guess, normally in the mod, like alternative settings, I guess. I don't know. Now come down and scroll down, you'll see the date. You can set the height of the storms, you can basically set the rarity of black fall and all this stuff. Now type in debug and then put true down there. And as you saw in the mod when I was showing you, when you press numpad plus or your plus button on your numpad, the menu should come up. Now if you're using a Mac, then I don't know how exactly you're going to do that unless you get like a separate numpad like as a separate component like one of those numpad things or something like that and you attach it to your Mac keyboard or something I don't know but yeah guys that's basically how to install Trail Mod so if you found this helpful let me know if you have any comments or questions or if something's not working to you something's not working comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next one